The moment we've been waiting for. Cardano has finally crossed the Ethereum resistance zone. So we're going to check that out on the charts and also cover some of the cryptocurrency news. In honor of Elon Musk giving it to Peter Schiff, here's my Dogecoin shirt. With that said, let's dive into today's video and check out the charts and the news in cryptocurrency. If you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. My name is Jason. Consider hitting the subscribe button down below if you're new to the channel. If you're a returning subscriber or you find some value from the channel, let us know. Hit that like button down below and the bell notification icon. It's the easiest and cheapest, freest way to helping out the channel grow. We're nearly at 60,000 subscribers. Phenomenal growth. Thank you so much, guys. What an amazing community we have so far. Enough said from me. We're at $1.7 trillion market cap. Coin market cap shows us all of those cryptocurrencies. And we finally see a T sitting in the market cap zone for Bitcoin. Bitcoin hits the $1 trillion mark. Let's see if we can get it to $2 trillion and beyond for this cycle. I think we'll see at least a $3 trillion market cap for Bitcoin because we want to see it around at least $150,000. Ethereum's at the 222. I'd love to see Ethereum go to a trillion dollar market cap as well for this cycle. That would get us uh, above or close to that $10,000 Ethereum. Binance is still hanging on to that third position after it spiked into that spot over the last couple of days, 40 billion. And the one we're all here to see is Cardano, 34 billion. Just got pipped out over the last couple of hours by USDT and DOT, but we know that they just continue to swap places. So the fourth place is still on offer. I think one of these will get back to three as Binance drifts off from its peak. All right, next on our list of goodies to have a look at, let's take a look at the chart quickly. And this is what we have been waiting for. We've been talking about it. And if you have watched the channel regularly, you know what we look for in terms of breakouts. This is a daily chart. We have the top. The yellow line here is the tops, the resistance going back past all of the Cardano history versus Ethereum. When we look for breakouts, we look for high volume breakouts. This is the volume bar down here. This is the breakout here. This is the close here. Boom, boom, boom. We've broken above the resistance. We've closed above the resistance on high volume. This is looking good so far. We want to see another couple of days to confirm this, but this is a fantastic first sign. So I'm very excited to see this for Cardano and Cardano hodlers, which you may be yourself watching this video. Let's step it back to the weekly and just see what else we got to get through in order to hold this position. So we're just going to go on to the weekly one week chart. So this was the previous high. We're above that now. We can probably get rid of this part. So that's wiped off our chart. This is the high that we were hoping to hold out and close above. So we have another 19 hours to go on the weekly chart. There's the high at 57,673. This is Remember, this is Cardano versus Ethereum. The, the reason why this is so important is because if we're looking to hold Cardano, we want to make sure it's going to outperform other cryptocurrencies that we're holding. And Ethereum is generally a big holdings for a lot of people. It's considered a safe, less risky altcoin to hold instead of Bitcoin to get those gains. And right now, Cardano is making a grab at that spot to be the other less risky cryptocurrency to hold to increase our Bitcoin holdings as well as our Ethereum holdings. Now, you might want to hold Cardano long term, but if you want to make more Cardano, then it's worthwhile checking out these charts and understanding where it might peak to, to be able to sell some, not financial advice, to be able to sell some out and then buy it back on the dips. You can see Cardano goes on peaks and dips all the time. And if this happens to be a crossing, a real serious crossing above this resistance line against Ethereum, then this looks like a very good move on Cardano's part, which is why we've purchased it and put it into our portfolio, which we check out and I'll review it at the end of the video. So let's have a look at the fear and greed end index before we come back to some charts. 91, we're still extremely greedy, but we can take a look back on this day last month. We were extremely fearful. Recognize that when we're going through the next stage of maybe a, an altcoin season where we continue to boom, maybe we bust next month in March, it's known to happen. So we got 40 last month. We check out the chart. This was the day here, 22nd of January. 
we had that really big, strong day down. January 22nd was the most feared day in crypto that we have seen in many, many months. And that is all it was, was a small bottom on Bitcoin at 28,800. From that low, we have almost doubled that point. Actually, we have more than doubled and we're beginning to hold that level now. All right, so that's Bitcoin. That's the most feared day we've seen in a long time. Let's take another quick look at Cardano versus Bitcoin now. And Cardano versus Bitcoin has also broken its top, broken the resistance for a second time. Now, this is really important. We need to get above the level that it broke on the first time, which is back on the 10th of February. Now, that high is 2,107 Satoshis. Let's get above the 2,100 Satoshis and hold above it. Again, look what we're seeing. High volume breakout above this resistance. We need to hold above this level now. This is going to be really, really good for Cardano overall, showing strength against Bitcoin, showing strength against Ethereum. So even if Bitcoin does have a bit of a move down at some point, hopefully we can hold above these levels because this will maintain our strength and hold our position against Bitcoin. So this is the other resistance line that we were looking at in the downtrend, easily broke out of that. This is the next level. We are almost cleared the 1900 level. I wouldn't call it just yet because we're sitting at 1943 as I speak now and we've got another top here. So we definitely want to get above this level. Eventually, it would be lovely to get above the 2600 level. We can close above that. We are really, really getting a nice move on to revisit the old all-time high on Cardano versus Ethereum. Uh, Cardano versus Bitcoin, I should say. Is it too late to be buying Cardano? Personally, these are fantastic breakout opportunity. So this is one way that I trade. I trade on breakouts. It's a safer bet. The probabilities are beginning to be stacked in my favor. There are plenty of other breakouts along the way up to this point. We can see one here. There was some tops, one top, two top, three tops, four tops, broke out, came back and sat on top of it. You're probably getting sick of me talk about this exact same setup. You've seen it so many times. Hopefully by now, you're starting to realize that this setup is very prominent in cryptocurrencies and is a very safe trade. With that said, that's not financial advice. This is just education, looking at charts, seeing the same thing happen again and again. If you're not seeing it, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe below, get us to 60,000, hit the like button so that you see these videos pop up in your news feed. So this is what I'm talking about here. If you can't see it on the chart with the naked eye, tops, 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 Breakout, breakout on volume. Look at that volume as we break out. It's happening again. It's happening again on a bigger time frame. You know, we talk about macro time frames. You want to make the macro gains, you've got to look at macro time frames. Big picture stuff, big money. Small picture stuff, small money. So, big picture. This is looking pretty good. We want to get that close, 19 hours to go. We'll do some more updates on Cardano this week. So, be sure to uh, subscribe to the channel. All right, let's have a look at some of the news now. We have Elon, Elon Musk says Bitcoin prices seem high. I brought this one up because we know Elon Musk's posts, his Twitters, his tweets tend to move the Bitcoin market, even if just for a day or even just for a couple of hours. What is he trying to do here? Seems high. Does he want the price to go down so he can buy a little bit more? I'm just getting a little bit skeptical about the whole thing because we know how much influence he can have on the price of these markets. And he doesn't get hit by the SEC either because this has got no jurisdiction. Well, the US doesn't have any jurisdiction over the Bitcoin price. So he can basically say whatever he wants on his Twitter account about cryptocurrency, about Bitcoin. And if the price moves, maybe it moves in his favor. Maybe he wants it to go down to buy some more. I don't know. But he tends to talk a lot about cryptocurrency on his tweets and prices move. So I'm taking that into consideration. I don't think much has happened to the price of Bitcoin since that post. We didn't see the price move up anymore. It just held its position. This is yesterday that he did the tweet. And yesterday, the 20th of Feb, it pushed to an all time high again, but we only saw a small day. Previous tweets from Elon Musk, we've seen that massive day. That was the Tesla buy. And this was the other massive day here. This was from Elon changing his Twitter bio to Bitcoin. You can see it right there. Big volume, 29th of January. That's the Tesla day. Now we see uh, him post again, tweet again, 
saying that the prices are too high. So price has not moved down and it's continued to stay high, which means there is still a, a lot of bullish momentum behind this, although we don't see the volume coming through yet. Bitcoin, we've been following the targets here. The first was to clear the 50% zone. The next was to clear the 61%. And now we are heading towards our 100% target, which is almost just slightly short of $61,000. So I think we'll get here. And if we have more momentum in the move, then I think we'll get to around that 69,000 because that's the next level that we're looking at with our Fibonacci extensions. That doesn't mean we have to go straight up, just means maybe we come back down, retest these levels, maybe we re retest these levels, then we head up, then we head up. That's what I'm looking at here. Maybe we go straight up. We know this is Bitcoin, it can do anything that it wants to do. And so we're just keeping an eye on it. But I don't think we're going to see a major crash just yet. We've got a lot of bullish news, even with the bearish tweets, doesn't move Bitcoin's price. Let's have a look at the next piece that we have here. Bitcoin is worth 1 trillion. OKX exchange delists the other Bitcoin clones, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin SV. I'm bringing this up because these two cryptocurrencies, I know it's not Cardano, but these two cryptocurrencies get a lot of new people and a lot of new people are looking at Cardano. They are seen as the cheaper Bitcoins. For some, they're not the same thing. They're all completely different. They have very much cheaper prices, but they're not Bitcoin and they're probably not going to get the same returns, but they're there and they sometimes confuse new people. So I'm putting that, that in there to show that some of these exchanges are beginning to delist these Bitcoin clones, these Bitcoin hard forks. I know the Aussie one uh, independent reserve has delisted Bitcoin SV. And so they just don't have the same legitimacy as they once did. Well, did they ever really? That's the question. Cardano approaches new major upgrade as ADA posts an inspired rally. So we've got the Merry uh, hard fork upgrade coming. And of course, there's the Gojin mainnet launch coming on 1st of February, which means it's only about 10 days to go. Actually, February is a short month, seven days to go for this. So maybe we're going to see the price of Cardano continue up into the launch. We have seen that in the past. So keep that in mind. A lot of these launches lead prices up into the launch and then a fade after the launch. So just keep that in mind. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but there's more often than not that that is what has happened. Next piece of news, Bill Gates neutral on Bitcoin now. First, he was negative on it. Now he's neutral. So he's not saying that he's shorting it. He's not buying it. He wants to stay neutral. Why do we care? Because he's in the tech space. I don't really care what Bill Gates has to say, but some people do. And unfortunately, we have to pay attention to this sort of thing to see what's going on. What is their motive here. As I read a little further down, Bill Gates spoke about Bitcoin and crypto in two separate interviews Thursday. One was with CNBC where he was asked what he thinks about Bitcoin in the context of climate change. Climate change, seeing how Bitcoin takes an enormous amount of energy to digitally mine. So he doesn't own, doesn't short it, neutral view. Hasn't talked about it. CNBC says it takes a whole lot of energy. Of course, they're just parroting the same narrative that the left-wing media parrots. Even the right-wing parrots this as well. Plus, we know that it can use renewable energies in the form of hydro, solar, and wind to use the energy in the mining equipment. So this is just a whole lot of nonsense, just another article trying to scare the price of Bitcoin. Bill Gates also said in the article, I do think moving money into a more digital form and getting transaction costs down, that's something the Gates Foundation does in developing countries. So he thinks they already do it. But there we do it in, in a way that you can reverse the transaction so we have total visibility of who's doing what. It's not about tax avoidance or illegal activity. So he thinks that cryptocurrencies is about tax avoidance and illegal activities. And he wants to see what we're doing. This is just more of the Bill Gates nonsense that we want to remove from our lives. Or at least that's me getting my opinion into the mix. One last look at ADA before we go and it has crossed cleanly the dollar mark. It was the resistance that we've all been waiting for it to cross. Happened just in the last few hours. Strong volume, break above, close above. Let's see if we can get another two more days in a row. That would be absolutely amazing. But we were looking at this just in yesterday's video for it to break through and it has done that. So another fantastic move. If you guys are interested in looking at purchasing Cardano, ADA, 
then this is SwiftX. This is for the Aussie guys. There is a link in the description down below. This is our portfolio. It's on the demo view as well up here. So you can do that, play around with it and learn how to buy and sell and get a feel for what's in our portfolio. So because Cardano has been increasing in value, it's really moved through the ranks in its percentage holdings. We have Ethereum, we have Bitcoin, Cardano, some band, Reef, which isn't performing as well as we would like. However, might just be another great buying opportunity to get those massive gains. And we still have about 30% left in AUD to purchase some other cryptocurrencies. Let me know what you guys think down below. Let's continue to follow Cardano this week to see if it can hold that level above Ethereum, Bitcoin, and its US dollar resistance zone. Hopefully that becomes support over this period and we see a nice healthy growth in our Cardano part of the portfolio. If you found value from the video, hit that subscribe button down below and the bell notification icon so you can stay in touch with us. It's the easiest way that you can use to help support the channel. Drop your comments down below what you're seeing and what you're liking with Cardano and the other smart contracts in your portfolio. You can follow me on Instagram for daily Q&A. You can ask your questions over there and I'm answering them daily on the Instagram story section. I'm also posting an update of my portfolio, my super fund portfolio, which is your retirement fund or your 401k for the US guys. Over there on Instagram, currently up around $230,000 up from 26,000 in 2020. So I'm getting close to that 10X on my super fund, 850% or so today. Go and check it out. Link is down below in the description section, not the comment section, but the description section. Some people are getting a little confused. I will wrap it up there. I'll catch you guys at the next video or in the trading and investing course, which there is also a link to down below. Come and learn how to trade and invest in cryptocurrencies within your portfolio and rotate that, those profits out into other asset classes. See you at the next one. Until then, have more fun to get more done. Peace out.